And now, ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to present to you the mayor of Tel Aviv for next week. And after next week, we have an election, and God knows what will happen then. Ladies and gentlemen, Ron Khuldai! The mayor is getting used to go uh, on bicycle because after next week, who knows how he will go about in the city. <laughs> oh, good morning. Everybody slept well tonight. Dear friends, shalom. I am honored to host you in, at the DLD Festival in Tel Aviv. You are probably asking yourself why I entered the room the way I did. You see, every year Yossi Ivardi asked me to make a fool of myself as the DLD. I never agree. <laughs> but this year is different. This is an election year. <laughs> Actually, the election are seven days away. And since Yossi is resident of Tel Aviv, I had to accept because I need him to vote. <laughs> You have chosen an excellent location for the conference. I would like to share with you a few thoughts about this place. Up until a few years ago, it was a deserted structure surrounded with dirt and garbage. And it's today one of the city's most popular places to shop and dine. But what is really important is the history of this place, which represents two values that are high on this city agenda. And this uh, uh, agenda is innovation and connectivity. Last, let's start with the innovation. This station was built in 1892. By the way, they did it in two years. There was no greens, there was no obstacles. When they de decided to do something, it was done. It was a point in the ambition plan to, to link all the great cities of the Ottoman Empire into uh, trains. The ancient city of Jaffa had no running water and no electricity, yet with this new train you could travel from Jaffa to Jerusalem, a beacon of technology surrounded by sand dunes and orange groves. The Jaffa train station was a very innovative place when it was founded and we continue to nurture innovation in the city around it to this day. A second value this place represents is connectivity with the world. This station was the first rail station in the area. There were similar stations in Europe and Africa, but this station was the first in the eastern part of the Mediterranean. The Jaffa port and the train station expanded commerce and exchange between the three con continents. And this is something that Tel Aviv Yafo continues to be today, a bridge of knowledge between Europe, Africa, and the Middle East. Speaking of the East, in our short history as a nation, here in Israel, most of our businesses and cultural relationships were in the West. And if you check who is here, you will find out that most of them are from the West. We created a wonderful ties in America and Europe, and these are strategic assets of this country. However, our relations with the giants in the Far East, like China, Korea, India, and Japan, are only now beginning to flourish. And we here in Tel Aviv want to develop these new friendships. It's important for our economy and for our future. Together with our partners in the government and the businesses, and academic sectors, we wish to put more emphasis on the Far East. Our universities are establishing academic relationship with institutions in Asia. Our companies are partnering with Asian counterparts to create technological parks and businesses. Soon I hope to see more Asian students in our institutions. I hope to see more Asian entrepreneurs attending our conferences. This is a challenge of you, Yossi Vardi, in the next DLD here in Tel Aviv. We are working with our people and creating new technologies. So 
This is our vision, more innovation, more connectivity with the East, and continuing to be a great bridge to everyone. I wish you all a wonderful conference, and to you, Yossi, thanks for bringing so many people from overseas to this bridge of culture and ideas. Enjoy the conference, and I hope you know whom to vote for. Thank you very much.